I just switched smartphone. I switched from the iPhone 7 Plus Jet Black that has actually a leather cover on it to the Samsung Galaxy S7 Edge. I know this is a one year old smartphone already but I have found this one brand new at a very special deal and I wanted to switch to Samsung to have this experience also with the Audi uh, switching from uh, Apple CarPlay to the um, Android Auto and see how it is uh, and I love this silver titanium gray color this one has also a Samsung clear cover in it and also I moved to the Galaxy S3 Frontier that I have to say it looks much 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 better than the Apple watch today is not a review about smartphones but uh, in a way it is connected with the uh, Audi A4 because we're gonna have a brief look at uh, how Android Auto looks on the Audi A4 compared to the Apple CarPlay and also the Galaxy S7 Edge having the wireless charging is gonna enable me to use the wireless charging here on the arm armrest so let's see first if it works you just put the phone here I need probably to turn on the car first and then it is supposed to start charging and there you go it is now wirelessly charging the phone so no need to plug the phone which in a way is a nonsense because if you want to have uh, Apple CarPlay displayed here on the screen you anyway have to collect to connect the cable to the S7 Edge or to any Android phone as the function to have the connection done wirelessly doesn't work at the moment. So we're gonna connect the phone. I have a cable here that has the two plugs. I can connect either the iPhone or with the micro USB the Edge. So in this specific case we're gonna connect the Edge There you go, it enable Android Auto. So it says look for Android Auto on the menu of your car. So let's go to the uh, menu here. There you go. And we scroll and now you can see here Android Auto. So we press. And there you go. The interface is really not that good and if you look at detail about the resolution, the resolution is not on par with Apple CarPlay. So you control with the uh, scroll wheel here on the MMI menu of the Audi A4 and basically you can by clicking down you can go to the main menu which you have navigation, phone, back to the main menu music and this one to come back to the Audi interface so let's check one by one so here you get to the Google navigation maps and it is now on night mode for whatever reasons but otherwise it's bright it's almost white-ish then you have the phone interface and then going to the music you have access to either Google Play Music or Spotify and then here you get back to the uh, main menu if we compare this with Apple CarPlay I'm gonna now unplug the uh, Galaxy S7 Edge and then I'm gonna have this plug here and I'm gonna connect now the iPhone Apple CarPlay 
and there you go you go directly to the Apple CarPlay interface and you can already see that the resolution in my opinion is way better more crisp I would say and also with the latest update to the iOS which I believe is the 10 point 1.3 if I'm not mistaken you get these last used items here on the left side so you can go to the recent apps used also by selecting one of these functions, whether it's phone or messages you get directly to Siri who is gonna ask you what you wanna do then if you go to music you get your music Spotify and plants you access the GPS maps and then here you get back to the Audi MMI. So I have to say that so far I do prefer the CarPlay over Android Auto. I hope you enjoyed this video. Thumb up if you did. Subscribe for more content. And I'll see you on the next one. Bye bye.